So our Bosch front loading washer that is making a loud noise. Turns the lights. So there's the inside there. The model number on this guy is WTVC3300 slash US. It looks like it's revision 10. Um, so I manually rotate this. You hear that noise at first. So it's even more pronounced when you actually start the thing. So maybe it's a loose belt or something else, but we'll open it up and see what we can find. So, now that I've had a look at this, I am, I think I found the issue. Um, after removing the top and back of the washer, um, you can see the parts over there. Yeah, I, looking over here at the motor and where the tensioner and the shaft from the motor are, they actually physically touch right, right there. So, if I manually turn the drum, those two pieces are touching a little bit faster. That's where I think the vibration is coming from. Is that round piece touching that round piece touching that hexagonal piece right there? And I think normally the tensioner should be a little bit removed from this unit. So now I need to figure out what to do next because I'm not sure if this. That the belt's too loose, or, or what? All right. So I may have partially and temporarily fixed this. After looking online, I was unable to find any diagrams that directly match this model washer. But I did find one document describing how to um, replace the tensioner on a gas-fired version of this same dryer. Um, so on that, it could distinctly see this gap, which which from a few seconds ago was missing on ours, between the shaft on the motor and the uh, tensioner. Um, but I also noticed, and you might be able to notice if you go back in the video, that there on our dryer there was a distinct gap here below the bottom of this little support mechanism. So all I just did was I released the tension with one hand on this guy. Oh, there it goes right back again. So that's actually a good example of it. And then I went ahead and just manually shoved this thing down. So the question is, it looks like this metal bracket over here is what's actually keeping this thing down. And I'm wondering if there used to be something here that I'm not seeing anymore that was used previously to kind of keep this thing in place. So you can see it just kind of dropped down there. Now it's back in place again. The question is, though, that's way too loose for comfort for me, so I need to figure out a way to keep this thing from popping back up, but at least temporarily, the sound is gone. Everything's good. So we're on the right track. And I think I figured out what the problem was. Um, so as we were saying earlier, this metal bracket, or sorry, the actual motor itself seemed to have lifted up a little bit and was intersecting with the, the tension rod pulley and causing that vibration noise. The question is, how did this pop up to begin with? Now I feel kind of silly for not seeing this earlier. All I was doing was trying to tighten this metal bracket around this, but then going back and looking at some pictures of similar motor assemblies from Bosch online, I just noticed something very simple, and I'm sure that anybody else watching this might have already noticed it, that this bracket is supposed to go on top of the motor. And as you can probably see, it appears to have slipped in front of the motor. So actually what I need to do is stop trying to tighten this thing, loosen it, move it upwards, pop it on top of the motor assembly, and then pop it back down again. So it looks like that's what happened, is this metal piece slipped forward, causing the hole, or allowing the motor to pop up when rotating, causing this shaft, hexagonal shaft, to intersect with this round pulley. That caused the regular vibrating, screeching noise that we heard earlier. So now I'm going to go ahead and attempt to take this metal piece, move it back up, put it on top of the motor, clamp it back down. And let's see 
that fixes our issue, or at least more permanently than me just pushing it down by hand. Well, after a little bit of elbow grease, I managed to get that metal bracket right back here, back on top of this assembly instead of in front of it. Now, you can kind of see a little bit, a little, get that in focus, there's a little bit of plastic that got chipped away when this thing slid off to begin with. So I'm a little concerned about this thing staying seated long term. Um, essentially, to get this back on, I removed the belt. Um, then using uh, both hands, really, to kind of take this thing completely off, the uh, bracket completely off, put it on one side over here, wrap it around the top, and then just push, 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 push until I could get it snapped on the other side. Again, I'm a little worried about this little tiny bit of plastic that's been bit off that it might cause this to slide off again in the future. Um, but at this point, I'm not really sure what I can do about that. Um, aside from maybe tape this thing down, but I don't, I don't think that's going to help. Um, so hopefully, though, that will alleviate our problems. You can see now it's turning fine. And that noise is gone. Something to note, there is a little switch down here that when the belt's completely removed and you allow this lever to go forward, it'll knock that switch and that should kill the motor um, normally. So just for good measure, when I put this thing back, I actually hit the other side of the switch, um, hoping that might reset anything I might have done um, and allow this to operate appropriately. So let's put her back together and see how she runs. Or he runs. Okay, moment of truth. I crawled back behind there. Reinstalled everything, hooked everything back up. I believe I turned the water back on for the washer. We'll find out soon enough. And now, we'll see. This thing's still making that god awful noise. We'll go ahead and turn it for 20 minutes. First of all, I know I plugged it back in. That's always a good sign. So the play button here, start button. That sounds normal. Woo! Yay! We did it, guys.